Here's how to edit audio in your recording. When you edit a recording with narration or computer audio, you'll see entries on the right column you can use to modify how the audio is used in the recording. For example, you can enable or disable the computer audio by checking or unchecking this box. Each of the different audio tracks is represented by a different color on the timeline, white for narration and dark gray for computer audio. Clicking the drop-down arrow gives you several options. Export a WAV file of the narration or computer audio or import a replacement. You can also add background music by clicking the plus icon, then browsing for a WAV or MP3 file on your computer. Music is represented by an even darker gray waveform on the timeline that we see here. Background music is different from narration or computer audio, since it won't be affected by cuts or inserts you make to your recording. To remove background music that you added, you can click the drop-down arrow here. For each audio type, there are different options you can select to adjust the audio levels by clicking the icon shown here. The icon will show blue if there is some level of adjustment in effect. For all audio types, you can choose to increase or decrease the overall volume by clicking these arrows. You can make these changes while the recording is playing back so you get real-time feedback on how the levels sound as you adjust them. If you increase the levels, watch out for clipping, which means your audio is too high. You can tell if your audio is clipping by looking for the red audio peaks on the timeline. To reset the levels, you can click the Reset button here. By default, for narration, the app will enable noise reduction, which will help take out background hiss captured by the microphone. We strongly suggest you use a good quality USB mic when recording your narration for much better audio than the built-in mic on your computer. You can choose to enable or disable Normalize, which adjusts the volume levels in order to achieve the same level of loudness for each track. Next, we will look at the options for adjusting computer audio. As with narration, you can increase or decrease audio levels. You can enable or disable normalization, as well as ducking, which means the audio volume will lower when the narration is active. And finally, music. You can increase or decrease audio levels. You have the option to add a fade in or fade out, which is set up to be a few seconds by default, but you adjust the timing with using the sliders or entering a number. Music will also be set up to loop by default. So if the music you added isn't long enough to fill the video, it will be looped. And again, we have ducking, so the music volume will turn down in the parts of your video that have narration. Besides these options to edit the overall volume levels, you can also use the volume tool to apply changes over a section of your recording.